Alright guys, so I have four videos to make. Let's jump into it. Uh, one for this, three for the other channel. So let's jump into it. Let's kick it off with the bang. We have a new patch for Star Citizen for the Eva Cardi. So if you're under the NDA, please turn this off. Uh, actually, I think if you're under NDA, you can still watch this. But I'm not NDA, so I can talk about this. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about the patch. Let's see what they're fixing. Let's try and get a fair idea of how long before this goes to wave one. So let's jump into it. So, known issues. Please avoid the relic related missions for now. Multiple optics are missing from the kiosk when attached to weapons. The UI has a chance to disappear on the customizer screen. There is a large rectangle area missing from the surface of Dama. <laughs> Okay, and around one of the caves, that <laughs> could be a bit of a problem. The Misk Razor EX will spin out of control when approaching a no-fly zone. Players will experience a crash if they rapidly change their hair color to other options when using the character customizer. VFX uh, for shields may not be appearing on vehicles. Multiple scope crosshairs are off-center when viewed in the ADS, which is aiming down sights. Uh, corpses at derelicts are hidden under objects or hull. Uh, the probe in the destroy mission uh, mission will sometimes teleport to map origin, preventing completion. The delivery lockers at Tessa, uh, Tessa Spaceport and L13 Metro do not distribute mission packages. Players may crash when loading into the industrial hangar. <sighs> There's a lot wrong with this patch still. Um, right, uh... Yeah, players may crash while changing their hair back to the original when using the character customizer. Ship may be displayed as rented if the player exits to title when the claim is in process. If the player uh, unequips and the undersuit in Star Marine, the body will have various graphical issues. The QT navigation marker is still present for Hurl L2. Players are able to get landing permission with Chrome Stat. Players are able to get landing permission at Area 18 with a crime stat. The reinformation uh, re distribution scatter gun currently has a blue light extra issue, uh, uh, light blue light texture issue. Uh, many mission givers are not in their current positions. Mining rock marker UI when in the prospector will appear permanently without scanning at less than 1,900 meters. The default hair may be present under other hairstyles. If you leave the re-enter the, the sorry, if you leave and re-enter the commodity kiosks, the sell tab will remain even though you're on the buy tab. Okay, there's looks like there's still a lot of bugs, um, which you know, hey, it's only patch C we get, um, but I'm not expecting this to go to wider PTU at, at least until the end of the week, to be honest. So, yeah, if you're, if you're a subscriber, maybe, what are we on now? Thursday? Thursday US? Friday, Saturday. Look, I'm, maybe the end of this week? Maybe a, a Saturday patch? Maybe it'll drop on Saturday or Sunday? Most likely at the very earliest on Monday? Or even later? It, there's still a lot of bugs, and some of these seem like they're pretty big bugs. So it's not like they can just rush it out, sort of thing. So yeah, I would expect the patch to be a little bit late. Um, I, I actually said this on on uh, Mulk, uh, Salty Mike stream. I actually said that the release of the patch would probably be the tenth. That was my argument. Uh, well, that was my my yeah my uh, view. Uh, the tenth would give them. So actually, yeah, tenth would be a Thursday for me. So I would say probably around the eighth or around the twelfth. But anyway, let's keep going. Uh, so feature updates, gameplay, slight tweaked planet and mineral spawning points within the caves and asteroids mineable density. So they've twerked that, that's cool. Gave missions now make use of all available caves, which is cool. Remove asteroid interdiction, which is obviously cool. 
Lawful stations will now allow players with a level 1 crime stat to land, and Tarrants will only attack those with level 2, which is um, pretty cool. Numerous updates to VoIP and improve reliability. Update art and blending for cave entrances. Ship and vehicles slightly increase engine trails to increase motion readability. So, bug fixes. Uh, players should no longer fail to respawn if their ship is destroyed by a no-fly zone, which is obviously a pretty good thing. Ship should no longer QT into Dama and explode while spine jumping, uh, spine jumping from between 2,000 to 2,500 meters, which is cool. Reduce glow uh, to remove the bloom around the site so, uh, scope site crosshairs, which is okay. Uh, fixed interdiction outline. Fixed interdiction outline been offset on mining rock shards. Okay. Oh, interaction, sorry. Interaction outline been offset of mining rock shards. The crosshair should once again be present on the arrowhead sniper rifle. Ship uh, ship weapon traces should now properly appear when close to the target. Uh, enemy AI ship should now fly fire missiles and pirate swarm. Uh, light cleaning up of the good Dr. Star Marine map. So, yeah, okay. Uh, mission boxes should no longer fall through the floor at Lawville, which is obviously good. Uh, storage capacity uh, description should now be on... Sorry. Storage capacity... Storage cap Storage cap capacity description should be on subscriber armor. Okay, don't know what that means, but I'm presuming it's got like a description that tells you what storage you got on there now, uh, what room you got left, stuff like that. The tyrant inside the reclaimer should no longer be covered in replacement textures. Turn down of the impact of the red dot on the red dot site. There should no longer be a blinking red light in the middle of the player's view on the top of the Valkyrie. Uh, the directional arrow key should now move the camera when in FPS third person. Uh, ship should no longer bounce out of control or spawn on landing. Uh, reduce glow uh, to remove the bloom around the site. Cross, crosshairs? I think we already had that. I think we already had that up further, didn't we? Yeah, remove the, reduce the, blue, the glow. And then reduce the glow again. Okay. A uh, magazine should no longer uh, be offset when reloading the frag pistol. Uh, press F, pick up uh, pick up items and repeat should no longer occasionally cause the player to get stuck. And players should once again be in, able to interact with the bet and the prospector. They fixed seven client crashes. Uh, sorry, seven client crashes. And they fixed a server crash. So... Yeah, look, they've still got a way to go. Um, obviously, it's only it's only C patch. This is only the third patch out. So, yeah, we're, we're not expecting miracles. Um, at the end of the day, uh, look, yeah, I would say... I, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be released next time. It's a wider PTU next week sometime. Um, I doubt they're going to make it by the end of the week. It, it really does depend on the 30k errors and, the, and that. Apparently, it was pretty bad for that sort of stuff. I saw a few people memeing that, um, saying that, you know, that there was a lot of 30k errors. So, I'm presuming that was because of the Ivacardi. Um, but yeah, as long as they get those 30k's fixed, and they get some of these bugs down pat, they should be right. Um, like, obviously, no issues. Uh, derelict missions is not a real big thing, people just don't do them for now. Uh, missing from the kiosk when attached to weapons. That could be a, a thing they want to fix before they go to wider PTU. The UI having a chance to disappear on the customizer screen. That's a big thing. Um, a large rectangular area missing from the surface of Dama and the caves is a big thing. The misc razor spinning out of control is a pretty big thing. Um, yeah. So, there's a, there's a bit to fix. Um, but guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'm expecting it probably early next week to go to Wave 1. Probably Monday or Tuesday. And hopefully they can get some of these problems fixed between now and then. 
Um, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, we will see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.